All right, we're back talking about solutions. And we want to talk specifically about concentration units that we use to talk about solutions. How much of something is dissolved. And some of them we've been talking about for quite a while. You'll be very familiar with molarity from probably every chemistry class you ever took, as well as this one. We talk about that endlessly. You'll be pretty familiar with percents. Mostly we talk about mass percents, but you can also calculate a percent by volume or actually a mass to volume ratio for a percent. Uh, we want to talk about some new ones though as well. Uh, parts per, like parts per million or parts per billion, a mole fraction, and lastly what's called a molality. So I put them in this list and you can see a little break here because these units are actually all relatively similar and this one is way different. So let's actually break down that first. How are they similar and how is that one different? So all of these units up here are what I would call a part over total unit. Part over total. And for a solution, the part that we're interested in is the solute. And the total is the total solution. This one down here though, the molality is not a part over total, it's a part over other part. And the part that's on top is the solute, and the other part that's on the bottom is the sol solvent. So let's go through each one and talk about how we calculate them. So, we'll remind ourselves that molarity is the moles of the part, the solute, over the liters of the total solution. And that calculates a molarity, and we use big capital M for that. Percent is just part over total times 100, so the part is the solute, the total is the solution, times 100. And this could be uh, in any of these units, like we talked about it, this could be grams of the solute over grams of the solution times 100 would give you a mass percent. or it could be liters of the solute over liters of the solution would give you a volume percent. Doesn't really matter, it all, sorry, I forgot the times 100 in there. <laughs> it all works the same way, just part, which is the solute, over total, which is the solution, equals, times 100 equals the percent. So this parts per unit works the exact same way as that, actually. Parts per million, for example, works just like a percent, except instead of times and by, multiplying by 100, you multiply by a million. So it's the uh, a part per million um, by mass, so a ppm by mass, would be grams of the solute, the part, over grams of the total times a million. Or if you wanted a part per million by volume, it would be milliliters over milliliters times a million. If you wanted a part per billion, it would be grams over grams times a billion, etc. It's pretty much exactly like a percentage. And the last one, the mole fraction, is just moles of the part, which is the solute, divided by moles of the total. That's it. Equals mole fraction. We usually use that letter chi to indicate that. And a lot of times we'll also put a subscript here to indicate what that's the mole fraction of. So it's the part, but it's always the part over the total. So mole fraction of the solute is the moles of the solute divided by moles of the total. So now to this crazy one called molality. 
molality is the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So it's kind of like a molarity, except that's moles over liter of the total, and this is moles over kilograms of just the solvent. And we use this, the abbreviation that we use for molality is this lowercase italic m, which is really a little weird because it's hard, when you're writing it by hand, it's hard to distinguish from a meter or other things as well. But it's really sort of important that you make sure and write your molarities now as big capital M's and your molalities as little M's so that you can distinguish them. So I can tell you that definition, but actually doing it can be another difficulty altogether. So let's go ahead and actually practice calculating a molality. So calculate the molality of a solution made by dissolving 34 grams of ammonia in 2.00 times 10 to the third milliliters of water. And they've given you some molar mass of ammonia and, of, and the density of water just in case we need them. So let's come over here and write, we're going to try to find the molality of this solution. Remember, molality is the moles of the solute, so that's the thing dissolving, NH3 in this case, divided by the kilograms of the solvent, which is water in this case. So we just need to start over here and find the moles of that, the kilograms of that, and then we'll be ready to go. So I'll switch colors for this, and we'll start out by finding, trying to find the moles of ammonia. Well, how much ammonia is present? It's right here, 34.0 grams of NH3. So I can take that, and I just need to convert grams to moles. I do that using the molar mass, 17.04 grams uh, per mole of NH3. And I'll get, it'll round off to 2.00 moles of NH3, which I could then plug in there. Now I need to find the kilograms of water, and I know I have 2.00 times 10 to the third milliliters of water. So to convert milliliters to a mass, I need to use that density. So water is 1.00 grams per milliliter for its density. And now I need to convert from grams to kilograms, which is one kilogram is 10 to the third power grams. So this is 2.00 kilograms of water, which I can then plug in there. So two milliliters of ammonia divided by two kilograms of water will be 1.00 molality solution of ammonia in water. So that's how that works. All right, so one last one, and this is sort of evil. But the worst thing that you can have to do here is to convert from one different concentration unit into a molality. So this practice problem says, calculate the molality, the molality of a 16.2 molarity H2SO4 solution. And it's given you some molar masses and densities to work with there if you need it. So let's break this down. We have 16.2 molarity sulfuric acid, which is 16.2 moles of H2SO4 per liter of the solution. And we're trying to get to molality, which is moles of H2SO4 per kilogram of the solvent. All right, so what we need to do first for this is actually just take this apart and be able to deal with it separately. So 16.2 
moles of H2SO4 is in one liter of this solution. So the very first thing is, is actually pretty easy. We're just going to take the 16.2 moles right over here and plug it in. 16.2 moles of sulfuric acid. The second part is a little bit tougher. We need to figure out the mass, but not just the mass of the entire solution, the mass of the solvent. So that will actually take a little bit of time here. Um, the first thing is relatively straightforward. Let's find the mass of the solution because we know the density of the solution. So we have grams per milliliter, but this is in liters, so we better convert to milliliters first. So one liter is 10 to the third, well, milliliters, and then the solution is 1.80 grams per each milliliter. So we'll get that this is, um, well, let's go ahead and convert to kilograms right now. Let's do one more step. 10 to the third grams is one kilogram. So that will give us that this one liter solution weighs 1.80 kilograms. But that's the kilograms of the solution, not the kilograms of the solvent. So how do you find the kilograms, once you have the kilograms of a solution, how do you find the kilograms of just the solvent? Well, there's only two components of that, so if you could subtract out the kilograms of the solute, that'll give you the kilograms of the solvent. We're saying that we've got this solution here, and there's only two things in there. There's a solvent, and we dissolved in it a solute. So if I know the mass of the whole thing, then to find the mass of just the one, I subtract out the other. How do I find out the mass of the solute? Well, the solute is sulfuric acid, and I only know how many moles it is, so I need to go back up there and convert moles into kilograms so that I can do that subtraction. So luckily I've been given the molar mass, 98.08 grams per each one mole. Oops, I put that in upside down. One mole is 98.08 grams of sulfuric acid. So our moles cancel. Now we need to convert grams to kilograms. So 10 to the third grams is equal to one kilogram. And I will get out that that is equal to 1,589 kilograms. No, I'm sorry, 1.589 kilograms. Would have been 1,589 grams. So I'll come down here and subtract 1.589 kilograms and I'm left with just 0 0.211 kilograms of the solvent and that's what I bring up here to plug in. 0 0.211 kilograms of solvent. I can now divide 16.2 divided by 0.211 and I'll get as my answer 7.7 here and I'll get my molality is 77 molality H2SO4 in that solution. So it's a big pain in the butt, but that's how you do it. Thanks for sticking with me.